Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we have some leaks to talk about today, and it's actually surprising me that not many people are talking about these packs that are coming to Ultimate Team of the Season. It is huge news that is going to impact the market, the store. Not that I'm promoting the store, let me be clear, but it's going to impact this game a ton, especially in terms of prices and the hype around these packs, because a lot of them are tradable. And they are massive. So it's going to change a lot in this game. I want to talk about that today as well as the guaranteed Serie A team of the season pack that is coming today. How much could it cost? How good will it be? And who are we going to be investing in for Serie A team of the season rises after this pack drops? Will we even see a rise? Because Ultimate Tots is two days away. We're going to break it down in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's Tuesday content, which really wasn't too much we of course did have the weekly tots upgrade player pick and they did include a rating increase on this one guys we were talking about it in yesterday's video hoping that they would and they did it's a 90 plus this week for the tots player pick and we did a bunch of these and opened them on the second channel if you guys want to check out that video after this one um and man i will say it felt like that they were the best ones yet of course they should be right because we're later on and the rating is higher it's a player pick, not just a pack. 97,000 coins. I mean, it's it's always worth it. It's just like the guaranteed TOTS SPCs each and every week. It is always worth the craft. This one's the most worth it, right? It's a one of three. Uh, you have the live TOTS in there. I think we got ASM yesterday a couple of times. We had, of course, Bon Mati. We had a Zyre Emery. It just seemed like we were getting more consistent, higher rated team of the seasons from those leagues. Now, my poll was not good at all. Like, I didn't get anybody very good. But again, with the upgrade SPCs that are out, with the 82 plus players, player picks and the crafting man I got so many walkouts out of these 82 plus player picks yesterday it is so worth grinding these right now and hitting the menus and crafting basically any SBC that you want to do so that was the SBC that we had yesterday that was probably the most hyped it did move fodder a little bit like if we take a look at some of the 85s on the market they're up to about three and a half k yesterday they were 2.7 and they spiked so a little bit of a rise there if you have any of that low to middle tier fodder today Wednesday, once again, is your sell day because we are approaching um, Rivals Rewards, which a lot of people are taking tradable each week. It's kind of been the same method and same method of trading throughout these weeks of team of the season fodder rises up into the middle of the week and then once rivals rewards comes it drops back down into the weekend so especially on like the 87s and the 88s even some of the 89 golds i think you want to get those out before rivals even though it might open up an opportunity to invest in some of this fodder before ultimate tots i think you want to get out if you still have some and i think that prices if you're going to do the serial tots guaranteed today one thing you can do ahead of time is probably go buy a a few of these fodder cards if you needed to get that SBC done straight away because um, that's going to make fodder maybe jump up just a little bit today. Now, speaking of fodder, before we talk about yesterday's other SBC that we had, which won't take very long, there are a kind of there's a lot of people that are disappointed right now with EA Sports with the Team of the Week cards because yesterday EA decided that it would be a grand idea to update a whole bunch of price ranges, guys. And including in those price range updates were informs that were selling for like 32 to 33,000 coins on the market. EA updated their price ranges to 30, they like downgraded them really to 30,000 coins flat and it automatically dropped the prices of team of the week cards because investors who invested in them had to start selling because they didn't want to get stuck with the cards. And of course, you guys know that selling cards at max price ranges sometimes results in a ban. Like yesterday, they updated a ton of prices. Like you can go on Flippin here, go in the market tab, click price price range updates you can see there's some heroes there's a whole bunch of gold cards it's just pages upon pages yesterday on 528 of all of these price ranges that were updated right and for informs a lot of them went down um in in their like price ranges i even think that like messy inform was one that was moved yesterday i think he had a max of like 900k before and now it's like 500 or something like that i'm not entirely sure footman shows that it's still 900 but there was a whole bunch of really really honestly like confusing price range updates yesterday and it's just another one of the examples that's like ea this game with and this part of the game with the price range updates uh and whatever it does it and however it's being done it's just a problem like it is not good and there needs to be some 
solutions with this because why are all these price ranges randomly getting updated when the cards on the market are selling for 32 to 33k and you adjust the price ranges below what they're selling for where the natural supply and demand inflection point is that makes absolutely zero sense i don't know why that's happening this year again the market and price ranges has been mudded all year long and it's led to people being wrongfully banned which those two problems go hand in hand but that was something that happened yesterday um with team of the week cards now last thing to kind of talk about from yesterday was the player sbc it is the icelandic striker from genoa it is goodmanson and you know what to be fair if you just want to try out a card for fun just to with the duplicate team of the season card that you have this is an sbc you maybe go and try 99 pace with quick step and trivella he's only four star four star but he's got 99 pace 99 heading as well how tall is he five foot ten so might be interesting to try out there you go kind of a young prodigy that a lot of clubs are, are looking at right now and uh yeah he's only forty-one thousand coins to do because it's one squad it's an 84 squad with a team of the season or a team of the week so just a fun card to try out nothing super crazy there but he was dropped yesterday and that was basically it for the content now there is one other thing from content yesterday that i do want to discuss and i have to actually pull up ea sports twitter because they were the ones that tweeted this out yesterday ea sports tweeted themselves that the champions league winner player sbc inspired by this year's champion is coming back if you guys remember this this was that kaka SBC that we had last year in FIFA 23, where it was chosen or inspired by the pro player who wins the E Champions League event. And guys, this Champions League event starts today. Um, this is the website, right? The prestigious trophy, the lion's share of the prize pool are on offer. It's the 29th of May in London, England. Again, just like last year, where Emre Yilmaz inspired the Kaka SBC, the winner of this will be able to choose their own ultimate team icon SBC in game with this car design. Now, remember, maybe if you do, maybe if you don't, but that Kaka version last year was, you know, everybody thought he was going to choose Hullet because he was from Team Hullet. Um, Emre Yilmaz that won. But this was the Kaka that we're kind of mentioning, right? He was dropped last year for a 900,000 coin SBC. It was like barely an upgrade over his foot birthday icon card. And Kaka was actually at the event. So this year... Whoever is at the event is probably going to get the Icon SBC. So, I don't know. It says that it's, it's, it's inspired by the winner of the E Champions League, but it's probably just going to be the Icon that EA has paid to show. I don't know. Who knows? There's a whole lot of theories. We'll see. It all depends on who wins it, of course, as well. But watch out for that because that is happening today, and there's probably some way you can watch that pro event and uh, get a couple of packs of the FC Pro section and stuff in the objectives tab i think there's some stuff going on there i'm not all about it too much but i just wanted to kind of point that out because that was some big news from yesterday also syria team of the season cards we're going to talk about this in a little bit prices are down heading into guaranteed tots pack day so we're going to look to invest but will these prices actually rise because we've got ultimate team of the season coming so soon will people actually be buying with that on the horizon so let's enough of that let's get to the big news let's get to what we really want to talk about today guys these packs that are going to change everything in this game because it's going to be honestly it's just going to take the store packs because a lot of these are store packs guys it's going to take just crazy packs to a whole new level and it's going to supply a lot of cards on the market tradable because some of these packs are tradable which is going to get a lot of people to open them up and i want to get you guys prepared and ready for these packs and how they're going to impact the market and how you can either make coins off of it and avoid losing coins by selling ahead of time so this was the pack code that was dropped yesterday guys and there's like five or six packs in here that i want to look at first one deluxe tots player pick think about player picks added to the code means they're probably going to be in the store like the the encore whatever picks that we have in the store that are like past promo versions those got added to the code right those were player picks added to the code this for sure is going to be in the store deluxe tots player pack it is a player pick one of three 90 plus excluding live team of the season cards but from any league of team of the season tots tots plus or tots moments a one of three player pick that is definitely going to be a store player pick and that is tradable it does not say untradable in the pack description so that would be a tradable player pick that if you open that you get somebody good out of it like let's say moments i don't know moments neymar technically would be packable from that right because he's a 90 plus moments card you would be able to sell him on the market that's going to be 
bringing tradable supply during ultimate team of the season this upcoming week because that's what kind of these packs are being added to the code for is like preparation for ultimate tots that's going to be bringing supply to the market of team of the season cards um basically when even some of these cards aren't in packs let's say saliba does not get into ultimate tots he could still be supplied on the market and his price could drop even though he's not in packs from this player pick same thing from the 90 plus times five all tots players pack this one's kind of crazy it includes five team of the seasons team of the season moments tots plus or live tots players rated 90 or above that also is a tradable pack. Think about that. A 90 plus times five tots pack in the store that's tradable. People are going to open that to try to get their value back and try to hit a big expensive card and then be able to sell that card and make coins off it. Now, how often is it going to happen? Slim to none. Do not expect to make coins back on any of these tradable packs, even opening them with coins. How many of you guys have actually profited off a 750k pack if you opened it with coins, right? Not very much. These packs are going to be all in the store, though, for sure, because with how much of like a crazy kind of like level up it is in terms of the pack that we have, like we have a weekly 90 plus tots upgrade that's untradeable and we have guaranteed tots packs for the main league of team of the season that's in packs every single week. These packs are way crazier than that, guys, right? But they're going to be in the store for that very reason. So those two packs are tradable, and they're going to supply old Team of the Season cards, which is why I wanted to mention that in today's video. It's probably going to be something where we see cards like, let's say Ramos doesn't get into Ultimate Tots. His price is going to be affected. Or Isco, he was decently packable during La Liga. Not crazy, but a little bit, right? Or maybe Gundawan. His price is probably going to drop even if he doesn't get re-released in Ultimate Tots because of these packs here. Now, this pack right here, this is the big one. This is the one that everybody's going crazy about because it's honestly baffling that this pack is going to be dropping this week. Guys, 11 guaranteed Team of the Season, Tots Plus, or Tots Moments Players. That is a 11 guaranteed Tots pack. So 11 players, all Tots, all 92 plus. This one is untradeable. You read the fine print there. 92 times 11 guaranteed tots pack. That sounds wild. Just think about opening a pack and seeing 11 team of the season players inside of that pack. I mean, that's kind of almost like the old foot champs rewards from back in the day when they would give elite one or rank one players like those uh, 11 players packs of team of the season, like that is really, really crazy, right? And this pack is going to be really crazy. A lot of people are start, starting to ask the question as I open an 84-7 here. Nah, man, no blue. Really? I just wanted to hit a random pack for the luck. A lot of people are starting to ask the question, how much is this pack going to cost? Like, think about it. 11 team of the season players guaranteed 92 and above. I think the cheapest 92 rated team of the season card right now is like 23K. Uh, 92, 23, 24,000 coins for a, a 92 rated card. That is up a little bit. So you've got like 240, 250,000 coins of untrade of like value from just the fodder value of these 92 rated cards that are going to be in this pack. This pack's going to be expensive, right? Is it going to be the first 1 million coin pack of the year? In my opinion, it's not going to be. I don't think it is. But it is going to be expensive. Maybe it's going to be 750K. Maybe it's 800,000 coins because everybody's going to want to try this. For everybody who can, can afford it with coins, they're going to want to try it just because that seems really, really crazy, right? I'm just telling you, and I tweeted this out yesterday. I tweeted out a picture of this pack and I said, guys, you're going to see a lot of this pack this weekend because it's just going to look crazy. Again, imagine opening a pack and seeing 11 Todd's cards like listed right out there. That, that's crazy, right? And it's going to take over the game this weekend. There's going to be a lot of people talking about it. And it's going to, honestly, it's going to drive a lot of people to the store. A lot of these packs are. And we don't love that. We don't like that, of course, with the current state of the game and people being frustrated with it. And especially with EA, for sure. Um, that's not something that we like to talk about. But it's going to impact the market as well. It is going to make the market really drop off with all those store packs, especially with a lot of people opening them with coins. We saw it during Prem Tots. We saw it during a La Liga team of the season that prices on other cards, more so during La Liga, right? Because Prem was still the very beginning and there was a lot of hype and a lot of coins from saved packs. You saw the market take a hit. A lot of the out of packs cards, like other team of the seasons and just the rest of the market in general taking a hit because people are opening those store packs with coins that is going to happen this weekend for this Ultimate Tots Prison Pack. I'm guessing it drops on the weekend because that's when all the big store packs tend to drop. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm not talking about this to promote the store. But once again, I'm trying to talk about this because 
number one, it's going to make the market drop. If you have Tots cards from out of packs leagues that you were like, oh, I'm pretty safe, right? I'm pretty safe here with my Kefram Taram because he's probably not going to get into ultimate tots, right? Yeah, he might not get into ultimate team this season, but he is probably still going to drop just because of all of the other content that is coming out. Um, so a card like this is not safe. Like, it's not. I don't think there's anything that is safe right now in terms of a team of the season card that would maintain its value especially with the ultimate tots cards getting re-released maybe getting a little bit cheaper more people being able to afford those yeah i wouldn't hold on to anything right now even some cards like jonathan david you're like oh he's not getting in i wouldn't hold on to it i really wouldn't Ooh, is mbappe on the market 15 milli is that actually on the market right there oh a couple undercuts there for mbappe he's actually on the market now okay wow he's going to be an ultimate team this season so that doesn't surprise me too much but even like an abameyang or a lucas hernandez I wouldn't hold on to them, guys. I would probably try to sell just because it's going to go down in the next week with Ultimate Tots being out and those crazy store packs. So that is one thing I wanted to talk at length about today because that's big news. And not a lot of people are talking about it, but it's going to make the market drop a lot this weekend and it's going to draw a lot of attention to the store so just wanted to put that out there so that you guys are prepared for it and since we talked about it you guys know that it is coming and maybe you're a little bit more careful about the tradable cards that you do have in your team even if it's not a card you think gets into ultimate tots now thinking of ultimate team of the season we have two more player leaks of who is getting in graham hansen not a surprise right all these leaks are pretty obvious graham hansen's getting in as is vvd what a surprise vvd tots is back in packs for ultimate team of the season and that means his gold card is going out of packs. That's maybe something to kind of keep in mind and consider. But we just continue to get to the leaks here for Ultimate Tots that are just like, yeah, everybody knows that he's going to get in, in the team uh, because his Tots card is so high rated, such a big name. Everybody knows that that is going to be happening. So those are kind of the, all the Ultimate Tots leaks that we have right now. I do, however, as I've just noticed, have seen there is a new leak. The first leak, real leak, for Euros content, we're not that far. It's almost June, by the way. We're not that far from the Euros and the Copa America starting, guys. And this was big news yesterday from some of the same leakers that we've been looking at tweets from today in the video. This car design looks unbelievable, guys. The first Euro leaks have dropped, and we are going to have Euros icons with this car design that looks unfreaking believable man with the blue and the white and the red like that is just that is awesome that is a incredible car design i absolutely love it um and we were due we were very due new icons and of course along with the icons we're getting heroes as well asy foot trader tweeted this foot scoreboard tweeted the other graphic for the icons unbelievable uh car designs here we absolutely love it and uh we were due like we've been talking about we're doing all these icon player picks and hero player picks for cards with two play style pluses behind the curve of team of the season it's time we're getting new heroes and icons we were overdue and these cards man i'm telling you they just look so freaking insane um, i think it was asy that posted a concept of a zidane um he said the new euro design gives us french vibes with like the colors right with the blue white and the red like that is man holy that is crazy guys so that's not a leak not saying zidane is getting a card that's just like you know the french colors are kind of prominent on this car design but uh we will be there all right and that is just kind of starting to build up a hype for me for the big summer to come with the competitions and with the content in this game that is going to be running alongside of that now not to get too far ahead of ourselves let's talk about syria team of the season and what's happening today because these cards are up for grabs today in the tots guaranteed pack and last week the tots guaranteed they looked decent today i think they're gonna look okay too i just hope that the sbc is cheaper today it was very cheap last week if you guys remember it was one squad for la liga which was a little bit surprising because la liga had some banger cards in it right like jude bellingham like vinicius jr those types of players even um some other like griezmann in there as well right really really good cards up for grabs same thing today Giroud, osaman bastoni of course the bala lautaro uh rafael leao teo hernandez even pulisic i would love to pack pulisic today this sbc though should be a little bit cheaper just like the la liga was one squad Squad. I wouldn't be surprised if the Serie A Tots guaranteed is one squad today. I'm thinking maybe 87 rated with the team of the season, or maybe they make it like 83 and 86 or something like that. It should be pretty cheap, and hopefully it's one squad. What I would tell you to say uh, to do is 
watch that 84 to 85 rated versions on the market because they're probably gonna, gonna have a little bit of a spike as we mentioned buy a couple of those if you need to get prepared for it and when we look at the Serie A tots cards and investing wise wow Giroud is very low 530 520k he's dropped off a lot Here's the question. Today and right now, honestly, as you're watching the video, in the early hours on Wednesday mornings has been the time each and every week to get involved with some of the team of the season cards because people get the guaranteed pack. They don't get who they want. They go out to the market. They start buying cards for rivals games coming up on uh, Thursday. Champs, which they gave out champs quality points again. What a time to do that. I think they've been doing that of the entirety of team of the season. But what a time to be giving that out before Ultimate Tots Weekend League, where the Ultimate Tots cards will be in the red player picks, and that's what everybody's going to be chasing. Um, there's going to be potential for some of these cards to rise today, but again, we're heading right into Ultimate Team of the Season, so I'm stuck between this is the time to always buy these cards because this is when they go up, and... We have ultimate tots coming in two days. Will that mean that people don't actually want to buy? I have risked it a little bit. I bought a couple of cards um, just because they've been very rare. They've shown very good signs of fluctuations and they're just hype. I picked up Bastoni for right around a million coins. Got a bit of a snipe here and I bought another one at 1.05. I'm hoping that he goes up 100k today. Like I don't think that's too much to ask, right? 1.15. He was there yesterday. Uh, Pulisic, 400 and what, 10,000 coins for him. His card moves every single day. What I'm doing, guys, is I'm basically just looking at these graphs and saying, okay, who is more rare and whose card's price is moving every day? Pulisic went from 430 to 460, right? If he goes back to 460 today after me buying at 410, I'm happy. Same thing with Bastoni. He was 1.0, I think 6 earlier, went to 1.15. Giroud is one of the most hyped players in this team, and he's down as low as he's been during uh, the impact section right now. Osman and some of the other middle to low tier cards did get their price range updates. Osman for like 240 seems pretty good. Um, Dybala at 1.6 seems low for what he's been. But again, you just have to be careful and know that some of these cards like Dybala and Giroud, honestly, could be re-released during Ultimate Tots and that could just absolutely make them tank. In the next couple of days, you see a leak or you see them included in the side and they drop a lot. So for me, this is the sort of, sort of flipping situation where I'm not going to be holding on to them very long. Maybe it's a hopeful rise today into tomorrow and then I'm out before Ultimate Tots and I don't have to worry about what happens after that. So I think quick flips is going to be the play. But also with this team, again, what we, we've been seeing all week is cards like Rabio, cards like Chris Smalling, Vlahovic, Di Lorenzo, really insane cards for low budgets, right? Honestly, mental cards, especially the Di Lorenzo, especially the Rabio, um, so good. And Ferguson as well, insane card for that price. Some of these could actually be investments if you have a lot of coins. Buy a Rabio, put it in the club, club stock it, right? We see that word a lot, but that's just kind of buying one, putting in the club and waiting for it to rise over time because he's Juve Lynx. He is a French midfielder and he plays above his stats, right? Same kind of thing with Di Lorenzo. He's the only right back in his team for Lynx. Smalling is an English linking card, Lynx to Renato Sanchez. He's also like a cheap tots investment. Uh, same thing with um, Ferguson, 29K for an 94 rated tots he might be one of the cheapest you know so it's just one of those things where watch the lower tier watch bremer as well bremer has had a lot of hype he's a brazilian center back for 56k like 92 rated i know that he's not fodder price but he's a brazilian center back with those kind of stats and he's good in game people might be interested in that and it might mean that some of these cards rise up a little bit even after or during ultimate tots and into the next week or two on the lower budget because some of those cards they can't really go anywhere but up. So that is one thing I wanted to mention. If you want to stock a couple of those in your club, maybe for cheap, I'm going to go for the quick flip route today, hoping that Pulisic, oh, I thought that said 402, it's 420. Hopefully if Pulisic can go back up to, to the mid to high 400s and Bastoni to one point, almost 1 1.2 mil, just trying to trade again with the cards that are rare, that are popular, um, and that people actually want to go out and use. This Dybala, if I saw him like 1.5 undercut, I would buy that. But I'm going to be careful with just a couple of cards that I do have. Now, what else are we getting today, right? We're getting the guaranteed Serie A team of season pack. I'm not expecting too much else. It's been a quiet week. I think it's going to continue to be a quiet week. One thing is refreshing today, and that's the 81 plus player pick. I think actually the icon might be refreshing today as well. Yeah, the 89 plus encore icon 
is refreshing today on a Wednesday. That is the normal day for that. So maybe you keep an eye on some of your 88s. Again, those could be going higher today. Good time to sell fodder, as we always say on Wednesdays. Really good time to sell those. I think the 84, uh, 3 times 7, 84, 7 obviously comes back every day. I think the 83, 7, uh, Sirion NWSL specific is going to be returning to the game today as well and refreshing. So watch out for that and watch out for more news and info about Ultimate Tots. Maybe we'll see some more of that today. Quick update on the account. Guys, I finished 11 and 7 in Weekend League and just, you know, gave the rest of the wins away, the couple wins away there. My reds were terrible. Ferguson and DeMarco, it was not good. I did get Joseph Goudon, though, after opening a store pack with coins yesterday and packing, saving the pack himself, Olivier Giroud. Five skills for weak foot. Um, he, he is he is different. He is a really, really good card. That acrobatic playstyle plus on crosses is actually nice. If he can't get to it for a header, hitting it on the volley somehow, he does very, very well. It's a very good playstyle plus. I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, enjoying this card and this squad right now as well uh, with Fakir almost upgraded to a 95. And then, of course, Griezmann and Mbappe. We have like the French all-star team here of team of the season. It just, it's just how the pack look has laid out. Like, sure, Konate and Kunde were SBCs, but Basha, Mbappe, Giroud, and Griezmann, all French. Crazy. So very easy to get links with chemistry because I've got so many French cards in the team. Not rooting for France in the Euros, to be completely honest. Personally, don't know who I'm rooting for in the Euros, but um, we're set up for some France links with that right there. So yeah, guys, that's kind of the video for today. I just wanted to point out and I wanted to talk about these packs for Ultimate Tots because if you have Tots cards, be careful. Even if they don't get re-released in packs, especially the middle tier to high tier, they're going to drop because of all the store packs that are going to be in the store. And if there's tradable supply popping up in different areas anyway, from those sort of like tradable packs, like the 90 plus times five and the player pick, you're going to see prices drop throughout the whole market. And especially with the rumors of content, it's going to be really, really good too. Like end of an era rumors floating around for an SBC. And there's many players that that could be with the amount of guys that are announcing the end of their time at a very popular club uh, that they've been at for a long time or retiring from football altogether like Tony Cruz. You know, you could see a lot of prices moving down on this game because Ultimate Tots is hype. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. It's my native account. See you guys there. Peace.